Chain Frost certainly could be very, very potent. It's Allison. generally it's generally better versus a lot of melee heroes. I, like the Chain Frost is is success. And the only one who's farming decently is Eric and a C of Radiant High CS. All right, though, here we go. Rotating in after the tower is dropping. They're making it go on to FNG. Still has that chain. Can't get it off in time. Omnislash is going to be there from Era, but Era could end up dropping. He will end up dropping. Illidan gets another one. Still moving forward. That wolf right by his side, and they take another life. They're looking over, trying to get a hold of Jonas now. Should be fine still. Continues to run. Meanwhile, up and above, the wave flies out, but jumping in is going to be the Brew, and he does have the clap. Moves in. Drops it, split's gonna be there, and now it's Eight Mother who's gonna be in trouble. Joan is desperate to help out, but can't really offer a whole lot. They continue their pursuit. There's gonna be the stone, and they're gonna take down the Razor. A nice quick snag. Meanwhile, on the other side, they do manage to take down Illidan with a swift Omni coming out from Era. They still want Phobos. Phobos with no man. Walk away. Still high tension over here by the Roche Pez. Lil comes forward. Freaking Lil has a blink. Freaking Lil. <laughs> He's got the Omni now. He takes it from Era's face. And there's the coil. He's waiting for now. Sees the Blade Fury comes out, pops it, but he ends up getting dropped. But yeah, he already has that Blink Dagger. Very, very well to pull his squad in. Now Era now going to eat the nuke, forced to drop out the ward. There goes the Chain Frost. Bobo should be able to finish him off and will finish him off. Dominating streak for your Brewmaster here. 11 to 4. The and farm on Roller is insane. Era goes down, the most successful farmer for now on NIP. And Jonas is able to pick up his blink top lane, though they're making it go. Tomahawk fly on out, Hanskin gets off the stump, but he ends up being taken down now. Phobos pulls out the split, Eight Mother looking to come on four, but he gets caught. There's going to be the stun, it's going to be another takedown. Illidan with the double kill. Cyclone coming out from Phobos, it's going to be a three-man drop. Phobos gets that one, he's on a mega kill streak on his brew. This is just... They could be the ones that are caught with their They fight in the ages, they lose. So they, yeah. they have to wait like 15 more seconds. Maybe they can initiate in like 10. This can't help but feel like, like in the early game, what, what went wrong? We felt pretty confident about the NIP draft coming into this one. Uh oh, Seal Kid though goes a little too far forward and they make the jump and they will take him down. Your Vengeful Spirit support goes down. Ilden continues to go right for those objectives, takes down the tier three, goes for the Rax. This Rax is going to be dropped as well. He's also getting that bonus damage, of course, still from the Alpha Wolf. So he's hitting pretty damn hard. 126 plus 100. Cycloning up Era, trying to take him out as much as possible. Eight Mother moves in. But they already take down what they want. Max shows up, drops down a very nice Chrono on to three. And this is going to be a polar slaughter happening right here. Ilden dominating him. Era, the lone survivor. This could be an early GG, and it certainly has been. It doesn't take long to start our day off. The white flag has been thrown up, and NIP need to put their heads into game number two. I think they got outplayed in every lane. You can't give up first blood like that on a puck that early. A puck's not that great of an offlaner uh, to begin with. He's like decent, but he, he gave Illidan first blood before he hit level two, and he had phase boost when Puck has returns the lane. <laughs> what are you going to do at that point? The recovery is just is just not there. So.